Hello and welcome. So this video is about Linux interview questions basic level. Uh, I was interviewing and I was preparing for an interview myself and that gave me an idea. Hey, these are the most quest uh, common questions that were asked me, uh, asked to me and they that were I see in some documentation after in the debrief section where people said, hey, we asked this question and that question. So let's get started. The very first question is, what is Linux and why is it popular? So you don't expect to see this question more, much often, uh, but maybe it's just like icebreaker if you know, uh, uh, just give them some points like it's an open source operating system versus what's Windows. Windows is a closed source and it's proprietary. You have to pay and get the license. So just know this question. It's just kind of icebreaker. Second question is, can you explain what the kernel is and what it does? So kernel is basically the backbone of Linux and it's basically uh, enables you to communicate with the hardware through the Linux operating system. So if you're giving command, for example, the audio, video, anything, uh, input through your keyboard, mouse, or sending uh, a page to print to your printer, everything will go through Linux kernel and in turn it will go to that device driver and does the work for you what is the difference between linux and unix so unix was before linux that is again a proprietary proprietary and a closed source uh, linux was uh, i think his was his name was linus Travaldo, he's still around for example these are the some facts that you can throw uh, interview is a two-way um, street it's a two-way communication it's not it should not be like you're being asked questions and you're just answering them so just uh, give them your bets here and there so Linux is free open source and it's the most popular it's being used everywhere so this license uh, you don't have to be uh, this line that says they have similar architecture but are developed and licensed under different models you don't have to uh, confuse yourself that hey are they paid no license means that open source license anybody can use or make changes but if they choose to publish it it has to be free to others can you define what a shell is in linux <clears throat> so shell is just your gui uh, user interface for you to access the operating system and its services and uh, basically interact with the Linux. What is the command to list files in a directory in Linux? That now that is the question that was asked to me for a uh, tech level position. Um, that is the question that is the most common. Can you, do you know a way of listing all the files? That the command is ls. It basically lists uh, everything. Now, how do you how do you know which one is a file and which one uh, is a directory? Now, Linux everything is a file, but uh, there is a dash that tells you uh, it's a file or a directory. So dash means it's a file. <laughs> Explain how file permissions work in Linux. File permissions in Linux determine who can read, write, or execute a file. So they are uh, in they are they can be in alphabet or they can be numeric values so 777 is the topmost value in alphabet it's three sets of three alphabets so it could be read write and execute and in turns they will be for uh, user group everybody so <clears throat> that's how the uh, permissions work uh, for its uh, it's four three and one so it's it's four two and one something like that so one is uh, uh, one is execute two is read and four is write something like that what is the use of ch change mode command you uh, in during question uh, interview you will heard it as ch mode a lot of people like to say it's mode uh, it's just change mode 
what we uh, if you for example uh, if the file permission is 777 that is full permission the user can, user or anybody uh, can read write and execute but if it's uh, 721 so it means uh, a group can has uh, user has full access I believe second one is a group that has just the read access and the one uh, that everybody has uh, ex uh, execute or something like that access so uh, the way I'm not uh, I know one is execute but uh, then you will say hey if the, he can execute the file what's the point so I need to look into it and uh, see if I'm saying all right so let's get to the next question how can you view the contents of a file so the contents of a file like reading a file you can yeah, there is a nano or there was an atom uh, text editor that you can use to open a file but those are for editing so this question they are not uh, asking for you to know if you know the editors text editors they are saying they can you uh put the contents of a file on your screen that is cat cat is the most common one you just cat the file name and cat space file name and it will uh, put everything on the uh screen more or less are when you want uh, to go page by page head will give you i believe just uh, first 10 lines tail gives you the last 10 lines these are uh, the very uh, handy when you're reviewing log files so keep in mind of that my favorite is cat how would you create a new directory in linux very basic very easy question uh, this one is yes is one of those questions that gets asked uh, if you were asked ls list command you be sure that somebody will ask you this question as well so it's uh, in windows it's just md but in linux it's make directory mkdir and that's how you create a directory but how do you create a file uh, i that is through nano and there is another one there was another command that uh, uh, you don't have to open a text editor what you can do is you can echo so echo just like ECHO whatever that uh, you want the file to contain for example this is a file in parenthesis uh, the created the sign and the file name and that will create a file for you with that text and this is a file or anything any line that you want uh, but nano is when you want it this the echo uh, basically gets used when you are reviewing logs or anything and you want it whatever the log or whatever the error messages you want it to be saved to be shared with somebody else or for your own record keeping you can echo it to that file name so question number 10 the final question for basic level what is the process to terminate a, a process in linux yes this question was asked to me uh, and uh, i have seen this question being asked in our interview process it's just a kill command uh, what but there will be a follow-up question basically this question uh, actually this wording is not right the way I will answer is that hey uh, first I will list all the processes by PS command L look at the which uh, the process that I need to terminate and then I will use the kill command against that uh, processes uh, process ID and terminate that process I will try to make another video where I will list all these commands but what I'm thinking is uh, these are just uh, generic um, uh, questions that give you or push you to go and um, research your own try to uh, do these commands on your own on a Linux terminal and see that all right so this is it for this one I'm gonna uh, create two more videos with the intermediate questions and advanced level questions uh, I hope to catch you over there